Good afternoon. Today is Noonday Prayer for Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. And uh, this service will include a brief meditation. Today we celebrate the feast day of Ninian, uh, bishop and missionary to Scotland in and who died in the year 430. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 96, verses 1 through 7. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among the people. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading from today for today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, and appropriately is, uh, is witnessed to uh, uh, in the life of Ninian. Chapters, verses 16 through 20 in Matthew. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I'm with you always to the end of the age. As we celebrate today, Ninian, um, uh, of whose writings we know very little, but we have the, the larger Celtic witness of Christianity in the British Isles uh, to give thanks for as Ninian's witness is there. And, and particularly that witness of Christianity was influenced by uh, those who came through the monastery of Martin of Tours. Martin, who had a mystical experience in seeing a poor beggar by the road and gave his cloak to that beggar, realized that he had met the Christ and in that experience called himself to a life of service to those who are struggling to care for all who would visit. And it's that mystical vision of the risen Christ in every other person that forms the basis of our baptismal covenant and is a call for all of us to respect the dignity of every human being, to serve, seek and serve Christ in every person, loving your neighbor as yourself, again, as our baptismal covenant says. And so today we celebrate Ninian, who precedes really the Roman establishment of Christianity in the British Isles, part of the deeper, earlier culture of Christian witness Yes, Ninian received some training in Rome, but he seems to be most influenced by the training he received at Martin of Tours, and then the engagement of Christianity with the Celtic tribes, which deeply influenced their, their appreciation of nature and their uh, view of the leadership of men and women together and their openness to learning. They moved from being warriors uh, of warring tribes against each other to really becoming warriors for of prayer in so many ways they were some of the best scribes they took information from all corners of the earth and established monasteries and they had heroic acts of prayer and praying and and this whole witness of the deepening of the gospel uh, as it meets us where we are to then give us a new experience of salvation, uh, a new room, a new space, a new world to live in that is more than just the one we see, but it is, it is one created by God in love who loves us all and it calls us to flourish as human beings. Uh, this is the witness of the gospel. This, this is the witness of the early Christian 
missionaries to the British Isles out of whose tradition we come. It is one of friendship, one who listens to the heartbeat of God, one who finds God in the thin spaces in the creation itself and sees the creation as a third testament. And out of this we, we come to a deep sense of fullness of Christian witness that is really founded in friendship in one another. And that vision persists through our whole lives. I hope on this day, as you remember this early Christian missionary to the Celtic peoples in Scotland, uh, Ninian, who traveled beyond Hadrian's Wall outside the established Roman Empire to, to these unknown people, that you, you find yourself open to the deepening work of the gospel that meets you where you are now and then says, and now let's go deeper. Let's find the something more in life we're all called to. And so doing, you say to yourself, ascribe the Lord power and glory and honor and praise. Uh, let the whole earth rejoice. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. We pray the collect for Ninian. O God, who by the preaching of your blessed servant and Bishop Ninian caused the light of the gospel to shine in the land of Britain, grant, we pray, that having his life and labors in remembrance, we may show forth our thankfulness by following his example of zeal and patience through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Just invite your prayers at this time of thanksgiving or intercession. I pray for all those who are working on lawns today, whose noises we hear uh, at this moment, and those who labor on our behalf. We hold up and pray for uh, those affected by wildfires in California and firefighters, on those on the front lines risking their lives for others. Pray for all their families and people who've lost their homes. We pray for those in the way of Hurricane Kelly at this time. Bless them. We hold up uh, those in the, also in the Gulf Coast who are affected by flooding. We help pray for those who are affected by COVID-19 in this time and pandemic. Bless those who've lost loved ones. Bless those who are still seeking to recover. We give thanks for all the blessings of this life, for all that is good, for the deeper claim of the gospel, as it calls us past our everyday life into a deeper world, a greater world of, of love and acceptance and joy that persists for us always. Open our hearts to that new space and world you've created. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds strong in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and those you love and pray for, now and always. Amen.